On November 10th, a group of city employees will be among the more than 3,000 runners hitting the streets for the Naperville Marathon and Half Marathon. We caught up with a few of them as they begin their training. Grant Worley can often be found behind the um, dais at city council meetings, so, uh, but these days he can be seen running outside getting ready for his first half marathon. My racing background is very limited to 5 and 10 Ks, so this is way outside of my comfort zone, but it's one of those things if you're going to do one, this is the first one in Naperville, it's great for the community, so I'm going to give it a go. He's just one of a group of city employees running in the inaugural event. City clerk Pam Lefebvre has run four half marathons and starts her day at 4.30 in the morning to prepare for her first full. I was a little intimidated by the Chicago Marathon, and then when this Naperville Marathon was in the planning stages, I thought, it's, it's perfect. Training for a marathon takes months and the group is working together to make sure they each stay on track. Well, the group of supporters here at work is like the best thing that you could ask for. I mean it's just a great way to motivate each other, inspire each other to um, have the camaraderie amongst all of them. Something that helps me out significantly in my training just knowing that uh, others are watching. However, one runner is a little behind schedule, but she has a pretty good reason. The little guy is due March 16th, so hopefully this spring after the baby is here, I will be able to start up again and follow one of the many training plans that I followed in the past and hopefully have a successful half marathon. An important part of the training process is making sure you have the proper footwear. Lefebvre headed over to the Naperville Running Company to find the perfect pair of shoes. You have to have good shoes because if you don't, your legs are going to hurt, your back is going to hurt. Your posture is going to be bad, you're going to lean over, it's, it's awful, your feet support you all the way. News spread quickly about the Naperville Marathon, which is a Boston qualifier. It sold out in just 14 hours, and the group is excited to be a part of the experience. It's a, a great experience for the whole city. I mean, we're promoting wellness at the police department, and the city has a an overall uh, promotion of that as well. I'm glad that the community is uh, rallying behind this. I think having a group of people here, city employees, I think it's good camaraderie. Uh, we are t talking about safety and exercise and things like that. So I think all in all, it's just truly an awesome event. And uh, part of me can't wait for it, and part of me can't wait for it to be over. <laughs> This summer, we'll check in with the group and see how their training is going. Then in November, we'll head to the marathon and see how their hard work paid off.